Oh, hey guys, how are you? So today we are going to go over how to get HTTPS and basically make your website more secure for free. And it does seem a bit strange sometimes, but I'm going to explain kind of the basics of what HTTPS is and how to make your website a lot more safe and secure. So firstly, um, I went over to ChatGPT because it is the source of a lot of knowledge <laughs> and i said uh what's the free ssl website certificate stuff called and they said ah ha, ha that's a great question according to my vast knowledge base the free ssl website certificate stuff you're referring to is most likely let's encrypt it was absolutely right and it says let's encrypt is a free automated and open certificate authority CA that provides SSL and TLS certificates for enabling HTTPS on websites. It simplifies the process of obtaining and renewing SSL certificates, making it accessible for anybody to secure the website without any cost. So we can go to Google, type in Let's Encrypt, and of course the website pops up. Let's Encrypt, yay. This is what the website should look like. So I highly recommend, then this is probably heresy, that you actually read the website because to be honest, if you kind of read it, it all makes sense. So to enable HTTPS on your website, you need to get a certificate, a type of file from a certificate authority. Let's encrypt is a CA. In order to get a certificate for your website's domain from Let's Encrypt, you have to demonstrate control over the domain. With Let's Encrypt, you do this by using software that uses Acme Protocol, which typically runs on your web host. To figure out what method will work best for you, you will need to know whether you have shell access, also known as SSH access, to your web host. If you manage your website entirely through a control panel like cPanel, Plesk or WordPress, there's a good chance you don't have access to uh, the shell access. Um, so you can ask your web hosting provider um, to be sure. Now, I would actually just send um, an email to your web hosting provider. Um, again, if you don't have shell access, but still, we recommend that most people with shell access use the cert acme client it can automatically certify um insurance and installation with no downtime so i've clicked on cert bot here we go so again you can kind of run through this website and just basically look at what's going on and you know look at the best way of doing it you know um Okay, to use cert bot, you'll need to be comfortable with the command line um, and an HTTP website that is already online with an open port, port 80. Again, if you don't know what this is, you can just basically um, read the instructions and they are, they seem complicated, but they're actually not too bad. Um, Alternately, without shell access, you can basically email your web hosting provider and they can typically install this absolutely for free for you. If not, you can also do it manually, which is what I'm also going to look at. But with shell access, it's kind of cool to do this in an automated way. Anyway, um, I'm going to leave the install installation here because you really need to go away and read it and like i said it isn't actually too complicated but you can go to your ssl certificate area on your website and again um i'm not going to show you my ip addresses and stuff because it kind of seems a bit weird but yeah you can put in your certificate here your private key and your ca certificate here and you can kind of upload all that information um to your web server Oh, I just showed you my IPs. <gasps> I don't think you can do anything with um, VIPs anyway. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I don't care if you guys say my IP or whatever. Anyway, it's my website IP. It's publicly available. Uh, so, yeah. 
I guess that's pretty much it. I don't know what else to say. Uh, to be honest, with Let's Encrypt, I literally just sent an email to the web hosting company that I'm with. And they do actually offer a paid service, but I just emailed them saying, hey, could you install this for me? And they did. And my HTTP um, S has worked really well forever. So, uh, yeah, if we go dwbeck.com, da -da, it is... Connection is secure, cookies and data. Um, yeah, it's all good, man. HTTPS, no problem. And as far as I know, uh, once you've got the um, HTTPS set up, it will permanently um, renew for free automatically through this service. So um, I would actually say it's pretty darn good. So, um, yeah, I hope that answers, like, some questions, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Oh, and I'll leave a link in the description to everything, so go have a look there.